Today, um, as we sit here, I think you've been to China uh, roughly 150 times, something like that. A lot. So how did you happen to come to deal with China so much? Almost, David, by accident. I was in the Chicago office of Goldman Sachs working with clients in the Midwest, and I wasn't looking to move to New York, uh, so the, the, the firm a asked me to, 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 to be a co-head uh, of our investment banking division with, with a couple other individuals who, who were in New York. And as we were looking at how we might divide things up, where we had a big business in Europe and almost nothing in Asia, one of the guys said to me, why don't you take, uh, take Asia, take China, because it's closer to Chicago <laughs> than in New York. And, and I, was, I wasn't overly curious, but I was interested. And so I began going to, uh, to Asia. And so I came back and I talked with my bosses, Bob Rubin and Steve Friedman, and I said, you know, I get the feeling China's about to take off and I would like to do a deep dive and look at opportunities in China. And, you know, and, and when I made the first trip there in, um, in maybe it was 1991, uh, we had five people in the Hong Kong office. When I left to go to Treasury in 2006, I think we had 1,500 people in greater China. So I put the pedal to the middle. Today, uh, we have two great economies in the world, China and the United States. In your view, is there a clash between the two of them inevitable, leading to a, actually a, a, a real war, not a cold war? Well, I, I, I would begin by saying that, uh, that China is a strategic competitor. And there are some compelling differences when we look at our national security uh, interests. And there also are some, some important a shared interest in terms of global stability and things like climate change. But to get to your question, I'm concerned, really very concerned, about what I see as a militarization of the U.S. view toward U.S. China. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. I take national security very seriously, but national security has bled into basically every aspect of the economic relationship. And I, I look at it and, and I say, you know, I hear about Cold War all the time. And there is no way this is a Soviet-style Cold War. China is very integrated into the global economy. We're looking at the number one manufacturer, the number one trader, a big exporter of capital. 